Hi everybody, this is Garkanya again with another tutorial. Uh, today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to unbrick your Droid 2 and Droid X using SPF Recovery. Um, SPF Recovery is um, a procedure where you can uh, put your phone back to factory uh, default, especially if you've messed with the, the mess with ROMs or uh, flashing new things to your phone. Um, this is a great way for you to essentially get your phone just like uh, to the point where it was when it first came out of the box um, and yeah so uh, in order to do the SPF recovery you need three things you need the SPF file which is approximately 400 megabytes extracted uh, 200 megabytes zip it is a large file uh, the do SPF.zip file which you can find on my website here at www.kimete.com and a Linux based computer uh, the reason why you use a Linux based computer, um, there are ways to do it on Windows, but it does require extra software and extra steps, uh, and it's not as reliable. Uh, if you get a Linux based system, um, this is just much easier, and it's much, much more reliable, uh, fewer errors. So, um, for those of you who don't have Linux based computers, uh, go download Ubuntu, and you can, uh, there's an option where you can create a live CD which you can boot straight to your, or boot straight to Linux. From the CD and not installed on your hard drive. So I'll post more information about live CDs and Linux and all that good stuff in the comment box, which I'll probably place down here somewhere. Um, all right, so let's get going. So uh, the two things you need are the droid2.spf file and the droid the do spf.zip. The droid2.spf file is uh, you can find them on forums and all over the place. I'll also just try to post links to this. Um, there's a longer name, but I just renamed it to droid2.spf for, uh, for ease. Uh, and you will need to rename the file to that in order for the program to work. So, all right, so first thing you want to do is do spf.zip. Go ahead and double click that and extract the, the do spf. Dot, or the do spf folder. Okay, once that's done, place take the droid2.spf and place it in the do spf folder okay and open the do spf folder there should be four files there should be a readme uh, droid2.spf spf underscore flash and do spf.sh um, you need to change the permissions of do spf.sh uh, so that it will allow to execute um, the easiest way to do this on ubuntu is to right click properties and when the window comes up, you'll see a permissions tab. At the bottom of the permissions tab, after you click it, there should be an execute option. Make sure that is checked and, is, and allows executing file as program. Press close. All right, so let's go ahead and hold up there for a second. The next thing you need to do is put your phone in the bootloader mode. So in order to do that, you need to power down your phone All right, slide open the keyboard. The up button, which is the button closest to the return key on your QWERTY keyboard. It's kind of hard to see, but um, it's right next to the OK. Hold that and press the power button. When you boot up, you should see bootloader, D2.37, battery OK, OK to program, transfer mode, USB. All right, so from there, back to this folder on your desktop. Double click the do spf.sh and it's gonna prompt you saying, do you want to run do spf.sh or display its content? Click run in terminal, okay? A little text interface will show up and it's gonna ask you whether you want to uh, spf your phone. Uh, one yes, two no, click one, press enter and then it's gonna give you a bunch of other things. Press any key to uh, continue. And then it'll tell you that it's gonna start flashing your phone. Um, it might ask you for a super user password on your computer, enter your password 
and it'll start beginning to flash. It's going to say unexpected chip error. This is completely normal. And in a few seconds, it will um, start beginning to flash. Okay, so this is going to take about, uh, I don't know, maybe five, ten minutes. I will, uh, while you're doing this, or while you're waiting for this video to, or waiting for your phone to flash, um, check out my website at www.kimet.com where I have a bunch of other things going. Um, this should, like I said, it should take between five and ten minutes. Um, let's go ahead and take a short break here. And you can check out part two of this video uh, when you when it's done. All right, Dark on you out.